off my leg. All right, Jeff and Elliot are back for another episode of Lost Nugs, and today we are joined by Austin Show. Welcome, yes, my friend. Thank you Welcome. So much. Flew in just for us, That's obviously. Right. That's right. Flew in, flew in. I heard about the podcast, and I was like, I gotta be here. You're oh, like, wow. this is. I cannot miss out. I cannot miss out. Yeah. This is this is certainly a once in a lifetime opportunity that I couldn't miss. So I got on the next flight out, and here I am. And here we oh, are. Wow. Last night, I even got a night in a hotel. Shit. Yeah. yeah, we we have a high budget here, as you can. Yeah, tell. you do. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for paying for my <laughs> beautiful flight. view too. Thank you. Wow, it is such a beautiful view. Yeah. yeah. Although, we, do you have air conditioning? Yeah, we do, but <laughs> I have it off. <laughs> do you think you can hear it? No. We could probably. No, have it's it on. fine. It is hot. It is hot. You in can turn it off. I just didn't know if it affect the sound. No, you know? it's totally fine. That's what they all say. And it doesn't. Mm, you don't ever have an. Listen, on she's got a high credit card bill. She can handle it. She can handle it. I have a plan. You walk around half naked all the time. No wonder you don't need air conditioning. I got my shirt on. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> bitch is naked twenty four seven. You don't wear underwear. You don't wear clothes. You just no. like. You free ball. Well, underwear is bad for the environment. That's so true. How is it I bad for the environment? You're washing more stuff. Yeah. You, you, you the ever one seen piece of garment that comes one time. How many times? Some, some people switch out their underwear twice. Do you know a day. how many? How much sea life choke on Calvin Klein's? I don't mm. know. In the tags. I mean, oh yeah. It's, it's the elastic around. Yeah. I've choked on a Calvin Michael Klein. Yeah. So let's not lie. It's not, not the only thing you've you never choked, choked on. on a Calvin Klein, baby. I don't want. To. <laughs> Mm. What? The underwear, like oh, it's you not know? like coke and ketamine. That's oh my god, we're on different wavelengths <laughs> right now. That's fine. Wait, so funny. I need to unbox Memorial Day because I have a question for you. Mm. Because you, we have a mutual friend. I'm not going to name his name because I don't want to call him out. Okay, but one of our friends, I had to share a bedroom with Kyle. Uh oh. Okay, so let's call him out. Yeah, okay. that that guy. Yeah. Okay. And he was like, he, it's my house, mm -hmm. and so he stayed in my room of my house for Memorial Day. And he was like, oh, I want to, like, hook up with them. I'm going to go fuck them mm. in your bedroom. Yeah. And I was like, but then we have to go to bed in, like, two hours. Mm. So, like, I don't really want to sleep in, like, your used fucking dirty-ass, nasty-ass sheets, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, well, where do you want me to go? And I was like, I don't know. Like, anywhere else. Yeah. Like, how do you feel? Like, would you let your friend fuck in your bedroom that you now have to sleep in? Mm. Like, would you do it for the homie type vibe? Just don't tell me. Can I be honest? Really? I'd probably just get them a hotel room. <laughs> you don't get hotel rooms in the Hamptons like that. Wait, it's like oh, a, you're in the Hamptons. Yeah. God mm. damn. Like we don't have. I like, mean, I just I would rent them a car. <laughs> yeah. Or you like the Waymo. The Waymo. So that, that, that's Throw the kind of shit that I would do. Is like out of convenience. Like I feel like if somebody's like, hey, like this is another. This uh, this is separate. But if somebody's like, hey, can I stay with you? Mm. I hate. Mm. sharing hotel rooms with people when yeah. there's one bed and they're like, I'm mm. just going to sleep on the futon or the couch or the, yeah. the stool or with you. Yeah. Or yeah. Or with me. That's different. But like, yeah. it's like, I just hate it. And, it. and then I feel bad and I make myself a part of their problem. And then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to get you another room. Mm. Don't it's worry about it. It's easier to front the bill to yes, like get them yes, out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And you know, We're I don't do this all point, the time, but yeah. But anyway, you know, what do you mean? Like, you know, we have more money now, you know? But I guess what, like, when we travel, like, if we go we're somewhere, good, we'll still buddy up and we're I'll good. be like, bitch, like. But that's because yeah. we're, like, good friends and it's, like, fine. Yeah, like, I'm used to your but other times when I have friends that are coming, I'm like, bitch, get your own fucking mm -hmm. Okay, so friend. then to answer the question, if I was sharing a room with you, would you let me have sex in your bed and sleep in it after? I wouldn't just fucking do it. Don't even Can I be real? It depends on the friend. Oh, because one would That's turn you point. on? There is some friends I would I never like share a bed with. A sweatier friend or something well, yeah, like that? Yeah, it just depends on the friend. Yeah. Like, are they messy? I don't know. You know what? Are most they bottoming? Of, most like, of the time. Are they going all yeah, out? Yeah, what's happening in my bed? Yeah. You know what? Honestly, most of, I'm, I'm just going to probably say probably not. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably not gonna be because at the end of the day, you're like, oh, are you gonna be a true friend? It's like, motherfucker, you're not being a friend by no. making me mm -hmm. fucking my like, bed. Go suck their dick in the fucking stairwell yeah, or basement or anything. Yeah. It's more just go to the bathroom. It's more fun anyway. Yeah, a shower floor. I live for a shower floor. Did they hurt sometimes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, my, my yeah, no. What I, shower floor are you on? Like like, like tile? tile. Oh, tile. Go like I, my one time I fucked somebody in the shower. My knees were bleeding. <laughs> What but were you, you know, doing? I guess that makes by the sense. end of it, uh -huh. that does make sense. Yeah, yeah no, it, it very it hurt. Well, no, it was just like you know, uh, they were just. I think it was missionary or something. See, I usually would they just lay were, on my back. I don't know, and um, they can like, you know, and then just go anywhere fine. else. Yeah. 
But I fuck with the shower floor. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh fuck. I'm... Well, how was your um? Oh, you're just, just a fucking I'm so mess, sorry. bitch. I'm so sorry. It's a messy bitch. How was um your little trip to Miss Europe for T Swifty? Europe is good, but I don't think I like traveling with girls. I think that's like a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, girls are never happy. Girls with have the drums. plans, but also with the plans, it's like you go to dinner and you can never feel out like how happy they are with everything they're always like a little bit unhappy i think how many of the girls like were like she's fucking pissing me off but then they all went to you to talk shit about the other girls yeah all of them yeah it was four girls and it was oh, fast. yeah you. have you done that girl no, travel I have all straight guy friends yeah. no way yeah. Yeah. yeah you've never gone on like a gay trip with your friends i mean with that other are gay men gay? yeah those are fun gay men that's yeah. fun gay but, like other fun. other girls and i'm yeah. you know i'm not like I love women. I'm yeah. not a misogynist. I just don't tend to have just to clear just to just to clear it up yeah. in case anybody was like, oh, he doesn't like women. In case he He's gave a misogynist. that vibe. In case I gave that vibe. <laughs> no, I I love I love women. Uh, n- nobody loves women perhaps more than I do. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I got that vibe. Yeah, you. you got that yeah. vibe when I walked in. No, but I just don't really have a lot of girlfriends. Mm. Um, I want more girlfriends, but I've never taken like a girl's. I've never been the the token gay best friend or whatever. And like, not to say that you were tokenized in your. We trip. are definitely tokenized. Oh, are you okay? For multiple avenues okay Sometimes, yeah. like i've got a high school girl who i'm her gay you know what i mean like i think it's just a natural yeah. thing the girls love to like and you're always their first phone call mm. <laughs> like every time mm. but yeah i would agree like i would rather not travel with a group of girlfriends mm-hmm. than it was just like the, the girls didn't know each other and it was just like bam 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 you know? did you bring someone home to like your Airbnb. Yeah, they're like them. scared of anything. They don't want strangers in the apartment. They think that people are going to steal their bras. Nobody's going to steal your dirty underwear from uh, Victoria's yeah. Secret. Nobody, like, yeah. With, Wait, so did you bring like a hookup or something over? Yeah, I mean, like we did. did it all. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah but they're like scared. They're like, they're going to murder me. You know? Nobody's going to murder you. Nobody Where were you? murder you in France. Oh, fuck yeah. it. They're not going to murder you there. Yeah, I but mean, like they could. You paid like, for the place. So if you want to bring someone back, it's like, who's to say, like, why do you need their permission? Now, hold on. If it's somebody, I will say I've had friends that like at, stayed at my house. And yeah, I don't like randos coming to my house. But that's your house. That's true. Yeah, like that's like Fair. my house. But like when you're on vacation and you just that's like true. get an Airbnb and so he like has Airbnb his own three bedrooms, be honest, four bedrooms. Why I don't like Airbnb. Like, I don't like sharing places with people because it's like you want to do because then that, that. But but in your defense. If you're gonna share places with people, these are the things that, that you come have with to be sharing place. Yeah, separate, separate. That, that's separate. why if you don't want to do that, then you, they get your own separate spot. Yeah. That's, that's my thing. I feel I fuck with that. Right? Yeah. That, that, that's my that's my yeah. take. It's maybe yeah. a hot take. No, but it's, it's an adult. Take. I, I think I think it's just as I've gotten older, it's like I just want my own space. Yeah, of course. But like growing up, it's like how many fucking people can we pack into this hotel room? You Always. Know? It's like yeah. four people to a room, maxing out the hotel room, people sleeping on the floor, oh, people yeah, no. in the tub. Over that. Fuck yeah. You know? Over that. We're too yeah. old for that. Yeah. No, we are too old for that shit. I, I just like to enjoy myself when I travel, and I don't enjoy myself when I have to wake up or listen to people snore, and fucking, yeah. it's just too much. Too yeah, much. Fu- it, fuck yeah. It. Have you been in a room like that where there's just people fucking yes. all the time? Like, I need to just wake up, jerk no. off if I didn't sleep with someone, and then yeah. start my day. And yeah. if I don't do that, yeah. I am a fucking cunt. Really? Every, cunty, cunty, every day, cunty, that's cunty, how you do it. Cunty, 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 cunty. Every day, that's how you start your day. I would say ninety nine percent of my days. Yeah, yeah. You wake, you wake up and jerk it off. Always. Do you not? No, because you know why? Is because why? then my day's motivation in innovation. Oh, uh, you gone. need the push. I need the mo- no, I'm not like one of those people that's like, oh, I'm gonna save it for, for days. Him. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but for me, it's like. If I jerk off, motivation to work out's gone. That's why I have friends. Gone. So this is why, like, yeah. I cannot do. As soon as like, if I jerk off before the gym, gym's not happening. That's I've heard that before from a and lot it's of not, people. Yeah, and it's not even like yeah. I need the testosterone to like get a better lift in. It's just, yeah. it's just my motivations are I think gone. You just a bit. Everything See, can I is tell gone. You, it clouds my vision. Yeah, like if I Ooh, didn't jerk off vision. and I go to the gym, I am gonna look around the gym and be like. I'll suck his dick in the shower right now. <laughs> like I will just like okay, so I get too much. so horny mm-hmm. that like if I don't do that in the morning, I'm like my much. my brain capacity pivots to like Fair. I'd walk down I the feel street you. I feel you. and I would like okay. see someone on That's the subway and be like, can, oh man, you're about. so cute. And I'm like, why am I talking to this uh-huh. random stranger on the subway? Because yeah. I'm like that, energized. Okay, so that makes that. you just you're that. so horny, you're distracted. Distracted. You're just distracted. Yeah. Especially in the summer, there's a lot of gym shorts, no underwear. Mm. Uh, yeah, and he, there's in West Hollywood too. Well, I live in New York, baby. Oh so, fuck! It's, oh yeah. god, that's even more dangerous. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm, sweaty bros everywhere. Just oh, yeah. walk in the street. Sweaty gay bros. Nobody here walks anywhere. So you where do you where do you live in New York? Hell's Kitchen. Oh, so it's fucking, there's a lot of fucking free balling in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And I am just one. No I am undies. one ball. One, one ball amongst the other balls. Really? Mm-hmm. You are one of them. One of the balls. Just, just no underwear. Out, just. 
No, he's the no underwear. I wear underwear. You but wear underwear. You never wear nice underwear. Yeah. Yeah. But they're actually, I'm not wearing Do you ever go visit now. him in Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, every once in a while. I'll pop yeah. in once a year. What do you yeah. do there? What do we do there? You had an orgy the last time you went. Good God, on guys. Accident. It was, was like a weird. Living. You're he, living. He, he literally went missing. I called him for, um, for hours. I'm like, where are you? He but just like, walks around naked. I was doing some crazy stuff on accident, but I was on some crazy girl <laughs> stuff that week. I don't know why. Because I was with my friend from college, and when we were together, we just like do weird stuff. Yeah. Good for you. But I was like joking because I didn't really like the guy. So we, I was, it was like a joke. You know when you were just were like They were borderline like with... spit roasting him. Him yeah. and a friend. Like mm. we were like, we don't like this guy, but like let's tease him. So we're like, <laughs> did he like it? I don't no. know. <laughs> Interesting. I saw him after that because he like, <laughs> we covered him he does feet. some things like, I, mm. I don't want to give away his job, but he like facial Botox, things like that, you know? Um, oh, he's an esthetician? Some way, Something shape like or form that. in that field. He's a plastic surgeon. And so I see him often in some regards because oh. he, like, will, you know. Oh, Botox. Yeah. yeah Botox. Everybody does it a little bit. But right? we're not going to, like, name drop the things. Okay. You know, if, like, the, but, yeah, so that's how they met. Botox, um, Juvederm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, those things. Of course. We I can mean, drop those. Yeah, but, um, no. no. Not, not the name of the company. But, oh, yeah, so he attempted to um, borderline fist the um, wow. what medical rep. I've never done Try that Try everything once or twice. Yeah, right? no, absolutely. Twice. Twice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you I mean, know, hey. I've watched it like fisting videos, but in a not sexual way. Mm. Oh, just to, like, like I watch things out of curiosity, <laughs> but not because I actually want to do it. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, just to, like look at it. Like just like a. Okay. I mean, hey. My my most recent was actually something called nugget porn. Have you heard of this? Oh my god! It's people with no arms and no legs, oh, and they're like little like weeble wobbles, and they kind of just like go like this. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? But like, it's fascinating to watch, mm. but you're not like jerking off to it, mm. you know? Mm. I don't think I've ever heard of this. It's almost better than watching Netflix. You could type in anything you want on those websites and have a fucking field day, man. That's. Nugget I mean, Google hey, it later. Nugs. This is Lost Nugs, Nugget Porn. We could pivot to this. Interesting. <laughs> Look at his face. The people aside from yeah, us are yeah, more yeah. divided. Right now. There's people that are like, that are fucking so. They're like, this will be the last episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're nuts because they don't have arms mm. and legs. Correct. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, mm. like, it was interesting to watch a guy who had no arms and legs fuck a girl who had no arms and legs. So it's like, oh, how I, are you how like. What are you talking about? I've seen this before. I've seen this yeah. Before. You I've like flail. Yeah. I've seen it before. Actually. I can't wait to send you guys the link and you better send me a reaction video. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> a little, like, What's the weirdest thing? shit you guys have watched out of like either sexually because you actually were into it or mm. out of just, oh, this is interesting. Let me watch. There's, have you seen that website where it's the bloopers of the porn? Um, blooper no. porn? No. Yeah. I've never heard of such it's a thing. Very interesting. Mm. It's, I can't remember what the name of the website is, but it's porn bloopers. So it's like if they have an accident on set, like, like people shit. Like yeah, I'm there's like, everything. So it's very interesting. I mean, I guess people are in a shit. So yeah, like, but I it's get it. human also, beings like, are human. It's just everything. I've never, I've never watched anything particularly like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I mean, we we all have crazy shit yeah. that we watch. Yeah. You're just saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you better share something. I was like, give me. Give me something. I don't Let's even hear know it. if there's anything crazy that I've watched. Well, like two honest. girls, one cup. There was all, the, all those. Yeah, but yeah. that was that was that like was a, that was a fad. That yeah. was a fad. And but that you know, there's also like a staple to being in high school. Like if you didn't I, watch that, we probably. I don't think friends. anything that I've watched is really that crazy. It's honest. normal. I think it's. So I mean, it, within the realm. <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. normal though? Really, I mean, at the end of the day. One man, one jar. Who's that one? What do you do in the jar? But didn't it break? You seen that one? Yeah, yeah, you seen that one. It broke inside of him. Yeah. Did he bleed? Yeah. I mean, you've seen that one. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I was you like, you can't swallow a jar with your asshole and not yeah, just have break it break. It and yeah. That's There's the horse. Is this your first day producing this show? No, second day. Second day. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> is, this, is this like is it, is this, is this like one of the first episodes? No. Three, four, okay. five. Yeah. Who have you had on before? Four, uh, my friend Chris. Okay. Picatalis. Okay. Uh, he's like a TikTok guy. We uh -huh. did one that was just us. Uh-huh. Um, Elliot some... wants me to invite on someone I went on a date with who now does not want to speak to me because oh, I said okay. I was not into it. Perfect. Um, but that could be fun banter to unbox. That's because interesting. Be a third wheel. But we'll see. Yeah. yeah. We'll crank them out. So that's what we're doing. I love it. Here we are. Here we are. You have a podcast too, don't you? I do. It's called Fear and. Fear yeah. and. Mm-hmm. 
So I don't know why the fuck it's called that, to be honest. I, I got, it was a, I, it was my friend Will Neff and Hassan Piker. They did it. Yeah. They created a show called, or they created a podcast called Fear and Malding, which is a play on fear and loathing. Mm. And they did like a season of it, just the two of them. Um, and then they switched the name, called it Fear and, like changed the management company. And then I joined with my friend Cutie Cinderella. And then like the four of us like created this new group of Fear and. And it's just basically a podcast where we just sit back and talk about our dysfunctional lives. Fun. So, yeah. Sounds, sounds very oddly, brand. oddly, yeah. Yeah. Oddly familiar. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. this is what we do. I was like, we yeah. do this all day, so you might as well just record it. And yeah. No, absolutely. Us. Is this what you guys talk about on this couch, this particular couch, too? It seems like this is how you would sit on your couch and talk. And yeah. you just literally, add except a we're usually naked. Oh, do you both, yeah. do you just chill naked together? I think we probably have. Yeah, you actually, we actually do. <laughs> in like a non-sexual Not like fully, setting. Yeah, just like chill. Yeah, like we've got, like we literally like, like. underwear. If we were like sleeping. But you don't wear underwear. underwear. Yeah, I'm team like just shorts. And you're team underwear. No, but I would say like when we are on vacation and stuff, there's times we come home from the beach and we're both just laying naked after the shower on the same bed and just okay. like scrolling like TikTok or videos or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, wait, and just, it, it's just platonic. Yeah, we've never hooked up. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Good for you we're guys. We're just best friends. And yeah. you just fucking just sit there naked together. Yeah, we're just chilling. Yeah. Do you guys like I know every size aspect up or anything? Like her. Huh? Like we've her. probably showered together. Yeah, we've gone to like gay saunas and everything yeah. too. So like what, you, you've been to stuff, a gay sauna, huh? Like, we're, yeah. we're in like Chicago or in, like, New York. We went to Paris. Mad. There's no gay saunas in New York. Really? None. And what about LA? Yeah, but that's, it's Sundays from night. Are there gay strip clubs? In New York? Not that I know of, because I'd probably be. I'd probably work at one if there was. <laughs> I was like, shit. I was like, side cash girl, sign me up. Uh -huh. There is. I went to one with Sal. A gay strip club. There is. I went to one and I got a lap dance from a guy. I went with Sal. You know the food guy. I do. Grub mm -hmm. food guy. Yeah. I Where went to a strip up? club. In a, a gay Fort, strip club, yeah, called oh. uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale's a bunch. Yeah. Those, do you like weird, actually huh? like? The daddies? I don't know. Kind of weird, huh? Uh, what? Then Fort Lauderdale. The, did you like the It vibe? was a twink strip club, oh, I think. Was it? Never mind. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. like a completely uh, twink. You have like a twink So they're like really huh? in need of money is what the yeah, strip club I mean, was. I don't know. I was yeah. just there to have a drink. Got it. And a left dance. And I got a And you got dance. a show. And I, yeah. Yeah, I did. With some bones slapping your fucking. Yeah, mm. mouth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> Honestly, though, who's to say, you know? I mean, who knows what happened back there? Yeah. Like, it, I would. I didn't, I didn't pay for it. It was for free. It was for free. Yeah, man. Shit. Okay. And I, I, I can't tell any secrets, even though I just told him. I was like, we already got it. <laughs> yeah, you already got it. But to be honest, I would love to. That's go what. To a gay that's, strip no. Club. Okay. Can I? Can I be honest? I, I need to say. I've never said this. I've been to straight strip clubs. Where, yeah. You know, I, I call it just no, like straight, regular. Straight, right. I mean, but I don't women say on a pole with straight men. Yeah. We, no, like gay, gay or straight women, like straight. Like uh, it's where straight guys would go. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. A straight strip club. And I've been to gay strip clubs where, you know, gay men are working and, you know, on the pole. The difference is the ladies, they're always working. Oh, for sure. They're uh, always working. No matter how hot the guy is, no matter what their attraction is, they're working. They see mm -hmm. dollars. They see, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're working. Yeah. I'm all about it, by the way. I'm mean, uh, pro whatever, sex yeah. work, this, this line of work. Love it. They're always working. Gay strip clubs? The lazy. No, not even lazy. It's not even a laziness thing. If they like you, you'll just hook up in the back room. Oh, like, yeah. Well, of like, course. Yeah. No, yeah. I know, but yeah. but like that's not the case with other... Like, you never hear those mm. stories. Mm. I, I don't know. But Maybe girls, I'm just I know too gay. I, know I was like, girls, I don't know. Like, I went on my brother-in-law's bachelor party, mm -hmm. like, whatever it was, last summer. And the girls would all gravitate towards me. Mm -hmm. And, like, they were sitting on my lap and being like... Oh my god, he's so cute. Like, do you think he'd be into me? And I was like, Oh my god, like he'll love you. Mm -hmm. like, they're like, go like go in the back room or whatever. Dollars. Yeah, but they're working though. Two yeah. of the guys did not come home that night, and they went home with them. Okay, and they fair. Probably, so I think the girls maybe just them. don't kiss and tell as much I as see. like maybe the guys are like, or it's just not as out in the open maybe because like in, yeah. in, in the in the in the in the gay strip clubs like it's it's on site yeah, in the back room. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I got a lap dance from the guy and like he was like getting like way touchy and I was like I don't think that's supposed to happen. Like, yeah, I no, you're definitely just supposed not. To dance. Yeah. And they were like No, well, like no, there's no. some like I, I don't want to go into too much detail but like shit can like happen back there that's For sure. like and it's yeah. just like on site and then at the end it could just, and, you, and you know it's not it's like and, and you didn't ask for it nope. and necessarily and it's like, obviously it's a consensual situation yeah. but like you're not <laughs> Yeah, you put yourself there. Yeah, you put yourself yeah. in this situation, but you're not like being charged. You're not like there's no transaction here, Correct. you know, if, if for for some of this, mm. which honestly makes it legal. 
There was one time oh, I yeah, was at that strip club, though, that the girls just came over and sat on my lap, which I guess when you see a guy, like, yeah. you see money, and you're like, oh, let me sit on this guy and like try to, like, schmooze him. When I tell you there was, like, a waterfall on my leg when she sat on my lap, I Ew. said, is she fucking pissing on me right now? I was like, oh, what was is on my she leg? Wet. And she was just wet from, like, whatever the fuck she was doing. And I literally looked at her. I was like, can you please get off my leg? Like, I was disgusted the fact that whatever was on my leg was on my leg at that point, and so I left. And I said, like, you guys what enjoy you the bachelor there? party. My The bachelor party. Oh, the bachelor party. Yeah, and I was like, I got to go. Smell? No, I literally went in the bathroom, and I was like, <laughs> I cannot. Like... Ew. Would you do that? I would just like. <laughs> Wait, oh actually, God. this is a wild story. Have you ever been to the box? The box. The oh, the box in London. The box? In London, I've heard of it. I had okay. a sh- the one in New York is fun too. There's one. There's a box in London that, that my friends had tickets to, and I just couldn't make it. But I hear they do some. Why crazy. could you not make it? I couldn't make. I had a show. If oh. you're in New York, go with him to the box. Yeah, I hear it's He's fucking got the plug. nuts. He's got the plug. It's, it's awesome. What you? They see told there, me some crazy. Are crazy. we allowed to speak about what they saw at the box? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell okay, you. Okay, tell you what you saw. Sorry. Yeah. Back to the vagina a minute. This bitch went on stage. She shoved a bottle of tequila in her fucking pussy, tequila. squirted it out into shot glasses, and then the waiters went around and passed out the shots, and everybody took the shot. And I was like, I cannot afford a pimple on my lip right now, so I'm not taking the shot. But I was almost inspired to take the, the shot box, because yeah. of the environment I was in. No, they, they told me that they, they did like some – the box in London, this is like some girl like took like soup. Yeah. In her butt and oh, like yeah. sprayed it out. Uh, they do that on, they the, like on, the, on the front row. Yeah, like I watched. Like there was a splash. Of like shoot up heroin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's great. That shit is crazy. We can all go. Where where, where is the box in New York? Lower East Side. Lower like East down, Side, like downtown. Is that like the? Is that like a? Is it's that kind of clubby, broy area. Clubby, broy yeah. area. But like, it's like you have to know someone to get in. Like you can't just show up there. And I don't know how the hell we got in. I must have well, known. Well, maybe somebody. London's different than New York. It was definitely. I think you. De- I, I think if you call somebody, I had you a friend a of mine that called, and he's also from New York, so maybe he, no. maybe they're connected somehow. I'm sure it's the same owner. Yeah, he's, or he, he was from New York, so I don't know how. It's he, just an extremely yeah. sexually. I feel like they pump something in that mm-hmm. place that like it just makes everyone want to hook up. I went to the place, but doesn't it like turn into like a club party after? <laughs> it's a club party the whole time, but then they'll be like, "Oh, we're having a show," right? And then, like the show, like you know. Okay. Happens on stage, and uh-huh. then you go back to hooking up or whatever you were just doing. Yeah. Oh wait, okay. Yeah. So there are people just like hooking up in the in the audience and stuff. Is that what it is? I they have these areas that you can close the curtain uh-huh. and do whatever you want behind the curtain. Oh. Okay. So I have. Has he? Has he? Has he? Come on in, baby. Sister. Is this oh, your, your keys? Sister? They're right yeah. there on the thing. I think right. Isn't that her uh, keys? They might be. No worries. Did you party last night? Oh, <laughs> we'll miss you. Looking skinny. <laughs> She's dying from the plague. Oh no. Have fun. Oh, yeah, get a little sun. Get some vitamin C. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Um, Did you say vitamin C? It's D, I think. D, C, C. <laughs> I think C is from an orange or yes. something, right? I was like, <laughs> vitamin D. He's like, get some vitamin C, yeah. whatever the fuck the sun gives you. <laughs> I mean, listen, your girl, your sister be sick. She needs all the vitamins. Wait, she needs she vitamin A, B, C, D. No, like, like do you some... live with your sister? I didn't even know you live yeah, with your sister. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, what does she do? Right here. She works at a restaurant, and she does some editing, too. I love that. Yeah. She Good edits his shit when well, he's lazy as fuck. So you run a family fuck. business in here. Yeah. I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a small business owner. You are a small business, a small owner. business owner. Fuck you. Do you just, You're the sugar daddy. Do you walk around naked and like just post up at that window, just naked? Yeah, or up here, too. Okay. Yeah, I do it up here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, right there. I just yeah. see you sticking it right yeah, there. Just, uh, do you yeah. sit on your balcony? Are you a nudist? You take me as a nudist. I wouldn't say nudist, but I think you're more like exhibitionist. That's it. Exhibitionist. Like, I feel like... What's the difference? Like, he likes to be, like, in, like, public places. And, like, I feel like you get off on that a little bit. Do you like people... illegal. Do you want people to watch you? No, but I'm saying in a way of... In a way that, like, if we go to a naked beach, like, you love that shit to, like, kind of be, like... Bitch, you were like, I want to stay here. And we left you on a rock butt-ass naked by yourself. Because I was trying to hook up. So you didn't like it? So what, you perched on a, on a rock like a merman? I was, yeah. Legs like this. I have a photo on my phone of him just dick yeah, out like this. Cheap, and we're like, are you sure? Well, I was were you waiting? Up. I was probably bricked up. Were you waiting for somebody in particular? Anybody. 
I was it a, was it a hookup beach? What was it a gay beach? What was it like? A, where were we? Croatia. Croatia. Yeah, Croatia. Okay. Uh, yeah, exhibition. No, I don't think I'm an exhibitionist. That's like people where you like literally want people to watch you be like, Ugh. right? I guess I don't know. I I view it as like you have sex in public. That's what I view exhibition. Exhibitionist, I think, is like a nudist. I, I don't know. I feel like they're just like somebody that just likes to walk around naked. Mm. Yeah. Like, like you just. I know there's some maybe. people. I'm not sure if people get on off on it, but it it is like okay, so. I, I did a photo shoot with like uh, my podcast night. We did like a nude, n- nearly nude calendar thing. Mm. Fun. And like for most of the day, we were like walking around with like just like a cup on our balls and just like, you know what? By the end of the day, I was like, I get it. Mm. It's so freeing to just yeah. walk around yeah. and be naked. You it's know what I mean? nothing better. Because like you're constantly like you're wearing clothes. You're just like constantly hiding, like making sure like this doesn't go and you're. You know but also I mean? sweating and just like I feel like there's nothing better than like you know how girls are always like oh man I finally could take my bra off yeah that's how I feel when I get home from a long ass eight hour day and I take my underwear you off sleep and my naked? balls just drop I'm like thank fuck you just God. walk around naked where in your house or wherever yeah I mean I live alone I mean I, well totally I mean there's naked. nothing wrong with it I yeah. just don't what? totally naked yeah like if I'm like watching Real Housewives I'll just be naked on my couch chilling see I I for me I shorts. have to have underwear on at yeah. least I need shorts. Shorts or underwear, like and yeah. I don't even know why. It just it's a comfort thing. Yeah, me too. Like I have to, like I can't sleep naked either. Yeah, I have to. You, even, you can't. Sleep no, naked I, I won't sleep either. well. I get too sticky. A little it just feels. You weird. sleep naked all the time. No, I always sleep with shorts. Yeah, I have to. I can't sleep naked. I sleep Wild. with undies. I feel like it. Ref- like when I go like this, I always sleep like this with like my leg up, and if I sleep with something on, I feel like it like restricts me from mm-hmm. my comfortable you sleeping like position. Boxes. Mm, or just nothing. Like this. I don't need them. I mean, look, I'm I'm no judging, um, but I just can't. I just can't sleep naked. I don't know why. I, I also just like can't walk around naked. It's just not comfortable. I feel. Mm-hmm. I feel. L- little shorts, underwear. Depends on also like the type of underwear. Like I can't wear certain. Like I can't wear the uh, like the like the the, the brief. High, the, br- the, the brief that's like cut off here. They have to be a little longer. They're yeah. not as sexy uh, though. I feel. No, you give looking. you give laundry underwear. Like I'm giving laundry, like yeah. like what do you mean, like laundry? Like they're kind of like those loose ones, that like maybe come in a three pack from Marshalls. No, you know? no, Calvin. Oh, okay, so that's thick good. band oh, Calvin, Calvin Klein's. See, oh no, those are like okay. These. So those are good ones. Yeah, these are good. Those no, are I, good. I got quality. I, I wear quality underwear. Yeah. I used to be like an American Eagle underwear. Whack and Honestly, all. those were great back in the back day. in the day. We had yeah. some good fucking underwear when we were like fucking teenagers. Like the ones that had like the little bananas. I wore on them or in something. college. I still got a yeah. few up there. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I still got a few that pop out of the drawer. Deep in the drawer. Yeah. Yeah, See, works. this is what I call laundry underwear. You know when you just like start digging out and you're like, oh shit. Wait, okay. So gotta wear this pair today because you, I gotta go do my laundry. Do you guys, yeah, do you guys, do you guys pick and choose like uh, what underwear you're gonna wear? To, like, do you save your good underwear for like. Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, if we go to Cheesecake Factory later, I'm not wearing white underwear. Yeah, yeah. well, no, you know? not like, not like, like time and place. <laughs> not you know what I mean? Like, you never pants. know. I'm just talking about like. <laughs> like a little bacon streak. Like, for me, no, like for me, like, I'm not gonna wear like my good underwear to like. Uh, to the gym, mm, of I'm gonna course. wear like yeah. my shitty. That's underwear. logical. I'm gonna wear like my un- my good underwear. Like if I'm gonna go out, I'll wear my nice good underwear. underwear right? Yo, yeah. is this gross? When I'm about to go to the gym, I literally grab like a pair of underwear that I just found on the floor that I wore like yeah, yesterday. That's fine. Because like I know it's gonna get gross, and then I put it in the laundry. I do. Yeah. I do. I have done that before, yeah. but if I if there's no other option, mm. like uh, I'll I try to get I try to make my underwear go as far as possible. But I do sometimes change my underwear twice a day. Well, yeah, Twi- like yeah. You I've, sweat I've, I've gym, become neurotic you about like Underwork showering and being sweaty, I and feel. just I become so neurotic. The older I get, the worse it is. No one wants smelly balls. Nothing. Like I've just become like I, I shower probably twice, two to three times a day. Sometimes. Did you shower Not, today? Uh, you know what? I didn't. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I woke up, I, but I'll at least do something. Like I wash my face, put my hair under the it's sink. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like I'll shower after this. But but I I keep saying I'm more neurotic. But like now I'm kind of like timing my day like when do i want to shower yeah, yeah. You know, but i showered like twice yesterday maybe before bed at least oh yeah you know minimum wash the plane wash the you yeah, know, yeah. The i mean off. sometimes i'll bathe in the sink like a bird i just totally wash a whole here. bath well, yeah I mean, just wash down there and then you know my face and i don't really get bath. i don't really get stinky like i don't mm. bo doesn't really happen to me that much so uh i don't know it, it so you know some people just get it more often i just yeah. it, it would take do you? I'm all the time. right now. Are you being on right now? He's like the guy though. Like I'll wear deodorant like once a week, 
and you well, never I, wear it, but I, I also don't, don't wear it. deodorant because I think it's bad for the environment. Oh no! Wow, we really bring up the environment a lot on this. It's one. my excuse for everything. I don't know. I think I, I think it may be bad for the environment, but that's one I'm gonna have to take to take the environment down on. Yeah, like I just all natural. I Good would say, like, when it comes to a guy, 10% of a stench on a guy is hot to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be sucking, like, Herbal Essence body wash For off your sure. dick. You know what I mean? Like, and it smells like fucking well, I lavender. I nice cologne, though. So what about, like, a nice, really nice... Is like, cologne bad I, for the environment? No. Probably. Because it I lasts for, it like, 100... You know, a good bottle could last a few years. Huh? That's true. You know, That's if you true. got 20 bottles of Wait, cologne. where does deodorant go? Well, it's just plastic. It's bad for the... I don't know. I think it's you bad know? for you, don't it's you? Bad for it's like body. Every time I wear it, too, I break out in rashes. Yeah, it's because you're not used to it. Just got to keep... No, using if you know. If you use it more often, your body might become accustomed to it. No, mm-hmm. I've been... I don't know. Oh. Listen, you're smelly it. I get it. I love smelly it. Smelly it was my nickname in high school. Wait, really? Was it yeah, smelly it? Call that's me fucked up. Even though I d- that's when I wore deodorant, though. My nickname was faggot. I'm just nice. kidding. Honestly, I'm same, I'm low key. Faggot I'm joking. Kind of Nobody knew I was gay in high school. Are you even gay now? Yes. You, you didn't think Are I was fully gay? gay, like Kinsey. Cra- Kinsey. Wait, hold on, What's hold on, the Kinsey? I'm like, kidding. I'm kidding. You I obviously walked in with gay. the guy I'm fucking. What are you talking about? I'm just kidding. You're, I'm L- just kidding, you're LGBT. I was like, no, we got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. we knew you were gay. No, no, but no. People have questions sometimes. People are like, yeah, I can see that. I can Some see people that. have, people have actually said I was gay baiting. There, that let them exists. Say, let them say that. No, it does let exist, it. but uh, but no people have said that. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of straight guys gay bait because straight girls are not ever going to pay the money to see a guy. They don't even want to see your dick as it mm. is. But gay guys will pay to see the dick. And that's who your market is For if you're true. trying to do that shit. True. So, it's true. Interesting. I was yeah. going to say, we can get you on OF, baby. I'm yeah, gonna, when are you going to start? You have you're one, too? You have one too? No, I don't have one. Oh. I probably should, though. I don't know. I think, I think it's an out. easy, like, if you already are sending nudes for free, why not just get Are you paid sending for nudes for free, Elliot? Who, who am I sending nudes for free to? Are you on what? Grindr? Grindr? Yeah, that's but I'm saying, like, free. if you're that's sharing different. your private you album left and right. Sometimes, but I haven't really been. Isn't it awkward that much? He sends his shit like it's like the fucking. Well, I'm a fucking you're a nudist you, when you got it like that. Yeah, I've been calling. But like down. you have, you have like good like assets. You know what I mean? Like what you send is not like. Okay. It, like you got a fat ass. Your yeah, dick is like I visually. The, I get the LPSG taken down when I need to. You know? Oh, the LPSG is horrible. Oh, you just gotta message them and they'll take it down right away. I recently made an assist. account on LPSG. Do you know LPSG? I've heard, heard of this it. website. Yeah. Um, they have threads of people on the internet trying to find their nudes. And I read my thread and I just got so fucking pissed. So I made an account so I could troll everyone. And I just fucking typed paragraphs being like, you're a fucking cunt. Don't even know who you New Jersey Bear is. Like I hooked up with him and his dick was so fucking big. <laughs> <laughs> so big. It was the best dick of my life. Well, my dumbass like made the account, my name. Cause it like was oh, my email, so it's like suggested Jeff Perla, and I was like, <laughs> perfect. So when I comment back, and everyone says Jeff Perla, <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, uh, that's funny. Um, you just send them an email. I have the, like the little the thing. They'll they'll remove it within like ten minutes. Yeah. So basically, if you're on LPSG trolling us, just shut the fuck up, and you can pay twelve ninety nine if you want to see us naked. Do you have an OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Do you fuck on it? Fuck no. Oh. Sorry. No. That's where I draw the line. Okay, that's where you draw like, the line. Like, I'm like, we could do... You're like, I'm not one of those people. Actually, I will say this, because recently, one of my friends launched an OnlyFans, and he was like, can you do a video with me because of whatever? And so I was like, okay. And I took some videos with him that I thought I would feel comfortable taking. And when I saw the footage after the fact, I wanted to, like, kill myself. Was it you having sex with him? No, it was just, like, make-out videos. because you don't and, like, like the guy, though. But, like, we were looking at each other, and I was, like, my skin, I was, like, this is horrible. And so I texted him. I was, like, this can literally go nowhere. Sorry yeah. that I wasted your time. But that's, but that's hey, that's good. That I mean, you, you have I to learned. try stuff. But Wait, the photos so are hot. Post? What do you post? Like, photos, like, you know, me showering. Like, if we did a video, like, I would be, like, we could shower together and, like, wash my back type vibes. Like, nice. you know what I mean? Like, that type of shit. But I'm not doing, like, sucking your dick. We're not doing all this in a video. I can't do that. None of that. No. So... That's what you're gonna expect on my page. <laughs> people are like showering with Elliot. People are like, yeah. no. no pickle. You you show nude. Oh yeah. Okay. Good for you. I was like, I got like. Is it pretty lucrative for you? Yeah. I mean, we can't talk about it here. Listen, got me a house in the Hamptons. You know, God so damn. pretty solid. Jesus Christ, you pull up, pull up. Like, yeah. How much is your house? Um, you know what? I'm sorry. These are personal questions. You can Google it. <laughs> you can Google it's also it. on Zillow. It's on Zillow. Yeah. Um, in the Hamptons. I built it. You built it mm-hmm. from scratch. Mm-hmm. I found damn. a plot of land during COVID. I said, "Oop, 
And then there was like a little, pull up. there was a little bit of like a um, bidding war uh-huh. and then the bitch died. So I was like, oh, guess she who won? died? She mm-hmm. dropped the God like, damn, that's one way to win. Bitch. Did you kill her? I might have. Uh, <laughs> Um, That's a crazy fucking way to murder somebody yeah, to win a bidding so war. Guess who got the the land? Hell yeah! Uh, how, how many acres? Um, it's literally like point four six or something like that. Okay, it's not yeah. I mean that's still but, half an acre. That's like a eight thousand square listen, foot. Listen, four bed, three bath. She got a pool. Mm. She rents. She Hot good. tub. She good. Um, I Did haven't you? invested in one of those yet because like we rent it a lot. So like I don't really want like. Some dirty ass bitch, but I will say I. So now that it's like summer, we have renters who come and go when I'm not there and whatever else. And I kind of like start watching my security cameras, like it's like Big Brother. Like I could tell you in the backyard, like who's dating Wait, who. I, I don't know if that's legal. I list it on Airbnb, so it is legal. What? Oh, you, you list that you're gonna be watching them on their security <laughs> cameras, right? <laughs> I don't know that's no, that's, but it's like so crazy. hard not to. When you get a notification, someone's in your backyard. I'm obviously gonna click it to make sure they're like not having a party or something's happening. And then I look and I'm like, oh, it Vanessa, depends on the state. Vanessa I guess. and Scott are making out. Like how cute. That's crazy. Like, love that. There's and, no cameras inside the house, right? No, you can't have okay, that. Yeah, that. That's illegal. But you can definitely have them on the exterior. On the exterior. I mean, I always wonder. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you, you do see the ring doorbell cameras and shit on those Airbnbs. You don't want to be talking shit about the anybody like talk shit about the house. There's one t- not talk shit, but there's one time a couple went and it was only two people in the Airbnb. And then when I went with the cleaning lady the next day, I was like, why are all the fucking beds used? Like that pissed me off. Cause it, I have to pay her more money. Cause she has to do all the sheets for all the beds, which is five beds. And I was like, you should have just slept in one bed. Why are all the beds? And so I'm going back in the cameras to be like, they fucking had friends sleep here and I'm going to find it and charge them. <laughs> and I look on the camera, he knocks on the door and he goes, Hey baby. And they were fucking role playing and she answered the door and he was in his underwear knocking on the door. And I was like, they fucked in every fucking bed. That's insane. And role played. And so I was like, God fucking. They were role playing? I I was like, I hated the whole thing. Me and Alex. Alex was like, Alex bought new sheets. So my friend, we built the house together. And my friend Alex literally You bought bought it together? Yeah. He's our my best friend, so it's like not, but Oh my god. So I mean you gotta expect though, if you got an Airbnb, this is what you're gonna gonna get, right? Why do you have to fuck in all beds? Um, it's rude. It is rude. So. That that's a little egregious. But fucking in beds, I'm sure, is a thing that yeah, will happen. Of course. of course, you're gonna expect to like. Yeah. I mean, I fucked in an Airbnb bed. Always, but time. not yeah. if Hotel you're beds. if you're in a home, you don't need to fuck in every single bed. No, definitely. That's like that's that's, interesting. that's a little it. much. Yeah, like that was not cute. Mm-hmm. But not at all. So no. if you rent a house on Airbnb, just think of others who have. To How much do you charge for it for the week? I'm going to tell you day. after this, but okay. it's good. Okay. She's good. good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's is so this, many things you want to ask me, and I'm like, your house stop asking me these fucking questions <laughs> on this podcast. I'm until after. I'm like, how much is your house worth? How much are you it? How much do you make on OnlyFans? I was like, I'm acting like I'm, yeah. I was like, I have to act like I'm still poor so people give me money. But on that note, that is the end of this episode. Wow. Thank you guys so much for having me. Tell them where they could find you. My name is Austin Show. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Uh, primarily a, a show host That's what I started doing um, But I also am a co-host on the Fear Ann Podcast Which is probably where you know me anyway Amazing so, yeah. good, uh, good to see you guys Thanks for having me Of course And you guys can tune in next week For another episode of Lost Nugs With uh, me and Dumb Bitch So yeah Is that what he calls you? Are yeah, you in an abusive relationship? Like twice am, if you I'm need help Okay that was multiple times Four times I'm I mean she's police. like <laughs> Fisted 17 yeah. times. Oh, she's, like, she's past abuse. Yeah. Only four times. I think yeah. she likes it. <laughs> First time was okay. actually in a van. Wait, what? Oh, oh my God. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. And the editor's going to have a great time cutting the end of this one. In a van. <laughs> in a van. <laughs> I thought he died because uh, he took these crazy poppers. What time do I have you tell? So I do an underwear